put the 2017 Audi SQ5 we drove earlier this week next to the previous version, and you'd be forgiven for confusing the two. From the outside at least, the new SQ5 hasn't changed, and still looks like the smart, if not unassuming, crossover it started off as. However, Audi has been busy under the bodywork, and get past that hexagonal grille and you'll find the latest 2018 SUV has had a serious overhaul. First off, it's fractionally narrower and taller, and it's all slightly longer, too. The new SQ5's aluminium and steel structure is lower slung, more car-like than its predecessors, but it does carve a huge 130 kg from the car's weight, and that's particularly useful in something as agile as the SQ5. That 130 kg diet trick is important, and that weight saving is made even more noticeable by the new SQ5's new V6 TFI 3.0-liter turbocharged engine. Producing just a little less than 350 bhp at 5400 to 6400 revolutions per minute, the SQ5 also produces 369 pounds foot between 1370 to 4500 revolutions per minute. As you'd expect from a jack of all trades like the new Audi SQ5, performance is strong, but not earth shattering. The benchmark 0 to 62 miles per hour appears in a respectable 5.4 seconds, while top speed is an electronically limited 155 miles per hour as for the MPG. Audi is quoting 28.8 miles per gallon on the NEDC cycle. That's what happens when you hook out the SUV's staple diesel engine and pop in a V6 petrol. If you want a performance car, you're best off with something like an RS3 or RS5, and if you're after a car that can handle 7 passengers and still give a fair amount of poke, you'll need to get an SQ7. If, however, you want something somewhere in between, the SQ5 slots into the range perfectly. It's spacious inside, and looks handsomely proportioned on the outside, but it feels far smaller to drive. Lower down to the ground and considerably more powerful than the outgoing SQ5, the 2018 model's ride is only a little on the firm side when in comfort mode, even on 20-inch rims. But the new SQ5 is bordering on lively and dynamic mode. Sure, it can't offer the feedback you'd get from a proper Audi RS car, but the SQ5 does deliver a dollop more agility and fun than the foot-to-the-floor and booted SQ7. Gutfeel says Porsche's Macan still has the edge on ultimate dynamic ability, however. The only issue. Over-assisted steering is one of the SQ5's few weak points, feeling overly light and sensitive. And one of our testers found the ride just too gittery. This is not an especially comfortable way to get about, 